talk about Jaya first. She weighed five pounds, seven point eight ounces. Oh, so wow. overall, overall her weight gain is good. Um, so there are um, no changes for today. She didn't need any tube feedings in the last twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit more than that. It's more like thirty six hours at this point. So if she doesn't have any events between now and the fourteenth, that would be the earliest day she would re- be ready to go home. Okay. And um, for um, Journey, she weighed five pounds, three and one-fourth ounces. Her weight gain was good. She's feeding well, and she's not had any monitor alarms. So um, she's ready to go home today. Okay, guys. So Babe just brought breakfast, and he made, um, what did he say, cinnamon roll bites, um, scrambled eggs, some turkey bacon, and he also made me a bowl of fruit. And then he also made me a smoothie, but um, yeah, came and reach over there to get the cup because I'm pumping. But yeah, y'all, getting this milk in just started, already almost done, y'all. It's like literally taking no time to pump, y'all. As soon as I got out the shower, it was literally raining like cats and dogs. It's kind of letting up, but it says it's not supposed to officially be done until around six o'clock. Uh, so I don't know. I'm gonna talk to the doctor. We have a lot of stuff to do at the hospital, anyways. I have an appointment with Jai Bear at two, appointment with Journey Bean at three. Anyways, you guys, I did want to mention where we got our comforter set from because I noticed a few people were commenting um, um, a few vlogs ago and asking me. And the comforter itself, this material, you guys, is so comfy. The best part, it was it was on sale. The whole set was on sale. This is a king bed so the whole thing was on sale for like 59.99 i believe best deal yet and then this boy right here y'all when i say this is like such a heavy freaking this thing is like it's also king size it's big as crap it's heavy as crap um it ends up on the floor every night though because babe his tall behind his feet come all the way out here so depending on like how hot we are or whatever or how hot he gets he literally will like kick the whole thing off it never fails but this thing was like maybe like a hundred dollars like 89.99 or something like that but it's so beautiful and then our pillows oh yeah i didn't even tell you i was talking. this is from home goods and the pillows are from home goods as well and yeah so like i said it's raining like cats and dogs and y'all so i have good news don't mind my hair i'm about to um take my wrap out let me get some lighting see now the rain is coming back Okay, here we go. So I'm about to take my wrap out. But y'all, so this is the first day, like I truly feel like my stomach has went completely back down. Like I know what my stomach was like before I got pregnant. And I was like, oh my gosh, like it's, it's down, but I still felt like, you know when you squeeze your, like suck your stomach in, like I know my stomach's potential. And two days ago I had sucked my stomach in. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's still not completely down. But now I'm sucking my stomach in and it's not doing too much. So I feel like it is officially completely down. Now my six pack, my abs and all that other stuff. Well, I didn't have a six pack, six pack. I had like maybe like a four and a half pack, if you will. But yeah, so that um, is non-existent. And I'm gonna get that back right with the trainer. But anyways, you guys, another thing. So this is day five of the skin treatment. And they said that the redness should be completely done by day five. Obviously, it's not completely done by day five, but it actually did go down quite a bit. It looks a lot brighter on camera. But another thing is, my and y'all know, I don't know how long y'all been watching, but there was a point when I had got a face peel where it was like literally peeling up and it just looked like your whole skin is falling off. So if y'all are OG keys and done, y'all know what I'm talking about. If not, it was called the V peel. Look it up. So like around day three and four, your skin literally is like, peeling off of your face like it looks really really bad this one it doesn't peel off your face completely it just like flakes up but as y'all can see it more so on my forehead like the darkness and stuff like that's my skin but it like flakes off flakes up as i wash my face and then like i just have to like scrub it with the wash not scrub it. anyways you guys so today is the big day i know you guys were all on my instagram leaving so many positive messages and um, I haven't seen them all because, you know, a lot of my friends and family and everybody was DMing me once I put the post. Because I didn't even put the girls are coming home. I just said, God is good and I'm crying real tears. And I was literally right after I finished talking to the hospital. 
So yeah, um, as you guys heard, Journey is coming home. And this goes to show, when you speak things into existence, things will come. All you gotta do is declare with God and then what happened for you. Cause like I said, I got sick and tired of them having me on an emotional roller coaster. Oh, they'll come home, oh maybe not, oh they'll come home, oh maybe not. Y'all, I don't know if y'all read the very first 10 seconds of the vlog, but I always have like a little message for the girls. And the very first vlog this week said, the girls are coming home this week. I declare it, I'm speaking it, they're coming home this week. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. And literally the very next day, this happened. And I know for a fact, Jai Bear is coming home on Valentine's Day. So I, I shed a few tears, I'm not going to lie, when I got the phone. But it was more so happy tears. I can't wait to bring Journey home. I don't want to be an emotional wreck, so I'm not going to go to the hospital and cry. Because if I cry, I do, I do the same routine when I'm leaving. Let me multitask, I got to head up there. But I do the same routine when I'm leaving the girls. And if I'm up there and I'm crying up a storm or anything like that, Jai Bear may feel that. Even if she's sleeping, she may feel that energy when I'm saying a prayer with her and all the other stuff. Okay guys, do y'all think that it's too soon to be doing pranks with the kids on each other? Because I definitely don't. I think this is the perfect opportunity to prank Jeremy. Y'all have been begging, y'all have been begging for a prank. And quite frankly, I just didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to do like an emotional prank when it came to this. Like, oh, you aren't the father of our kids. One, he's not going to believe that. We definitely conceived our kids in Jamaica. And unless I was up there doing some shenanigans, he already know that's like crazy. And like, I couldn't think of the other um, pregnancy pranks, like the my water break my water broke type thing. And I was going to do that, but obviously I went into labor three months early. So. The doctor and the hospital pretty much has been giving us an up and down emotional roller coaster when it comes to bringing our babies home. So why not just put Jeremy through those emotions one more time? So I'm about to call Babe and I'm about to tell Babe, oh Babe, you don't have to worry about coming and meet me, da da da. We're not taking Journey home anymore. And he's gonna be like, you know, whatever he says. I don't know really what he's gonna say. I don't know if he's just gonna be like, okay, he's used to this because I didn't call him plenty of times or I told him like plenty of times and it just didn't happen or if he may like get really really upset because you know I was so happy earlier and we were just like planning everything and talking to, you know we were just happy parents so and I'm like it's really real babe this time like she's coming home they're coming home and he's like really in his feelings like we both believe in it um so then he's gonna be like caught off guard but the prank is gonna be He's gonna get home, so he's gonna he was gonna go run errands um, anyway. So as soon as he get back from his errands, Journey is gonna be at the house. So that's the prank. So it's like a bittersweet prank when you tell him earlier, like, oh, you don't gotta worry about it, da, da, da. and then I'm gonna get his reaction when he comes home and his baby girl is there. So I'm so excited. I feel like this is still like a good prank uh, where we don't have to like be too 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 upset about it. But I just feel like this is like a great, you know, way to keep our energy up since our giant bear isn't coming home quite yet. And we can truly, thoroughly, you know, love and thrive off the journey right now. So I'm about to call him because I'm not, I just left the house anyway. So I don't want him to leave because he was about to get in the shower and get dressed and get ready and stuff. So I, will, I don't want him to like, you know, be speeding up and then already be in his car headed here. So let me go ahead. Hold on, let me merge over. I just wonder if he's gonna be like upset since the hospital is, you know, saying Journey once again can't come home. But we will see, we will see. Y'all, it is raining like cat and dog. Like, it is really, really raining. Okay. Oh, y'all can hear him good. Oh, this rain. I gotta exit though. Hold on. I guess they just, I guess they figure since she's a preemie baby, 
they don't want to take any risks. You know, she's been doing. Man, they can't. Well, they can't be, bro. They should have looked at the fucking forecast, then, bro. They can't be counting it in. They, they feel it. They, they getting excited, bro. But I done literally canceled every most everything I had to do because I thought she was gonna be able to come home. I know, man. Okay guys, so he seems pretty upset. So I feel like this is gonna be like even better because he's gonna come home, Journey's gonna be there, and then he's gonna be so excited. And I'm just like Okay guys, so we just finished with Journey. We've done everything that she needed to do for clearance. Oh, you spitting up some of that milk, you guys. When I say she did amazing, she did a full session on my breast, and I felt so confident with breastfeeding now. Like she did, she was a rock star, like literally a rock star. And she still did some of her bottle, and we know for a fact how much she took because they did the, um, they weighed her before she started to breastfeed and then weigh her after so we actually knew exactly how much she took but she still wanted to have some of the bottles so we let her no need to waste the liquid gold isn't that right pretty girl so yes everything is good to go everything is squared away my giant bear is still up there she finished all of her bottles so far so everything is looking good i know she's gonna be coming home thursday um so like i said no negative energy in here at all so excited but i am gonna stay here until her next feeding time at five so i can just spend a little bit more time with her and then you know they can still bond a little bit more but everything's okay everything's okay the nurse i asked the nurse i was like do you think jay is gonna be you know a little fidgety once um journey's gone for this one night because they only have one act she's only gonna have one full day that she's away from journey because the nurse said she's gonna make sure she has like a very early discharge time so i'm actually doing jaya bear's discharge stuff now as well um so yeah so we can just come first thing in the morning thursday and just pretty much pick her up y'all journey is having a tantrum she has been showing up the nurse said she has been showing up all day not in a bad way in a good way like she has been a rock star at eating she's been trying to eat so much it's nowhere near her feeding time and she's already trying to eat again she wants to be healed she want to put it to the oh right now i was gonna say you want to put it to, to the first little bit because you're yeah. gonna be driving by herself with with, um, yeah. With you. Yeah. Yeah. Just try to. Yeah. Just to take some. Okay. Take some of the madness away, and then we'll give Sissy a kiss goodbye. Jai bear. Oh, you smiling? Say hey. Say I'm content. Cause I know I'll be home. Journey is like, like I think she knows she's leaving her sissy, and she's not completely feeling it. Look at you. You gotta tell Jai bear bye, okay? You gotta tell Sissy bye. And now, Jai, no, don't you start crying. Hold on, y'all. Tell her bye, bye, bye. You love your Sissy. I know. Oh, y'all, they started holding hands. Oh my gosh. Y'all gonna make me cry. Oh, y'all wanna hold hands again? This is Sissy. Oh, it's okay. It's only one day. I promise it's only one day. It's only one day. It's only one day. Tell everybody you just gonna miss Sissy. It's only one day. It's only one day. Look at this. Oh, it's only one day. Hey. Mm, Mama loves you. Jai Bear. Mama loves you. The biggest blessing I've ever gotten you, you two, okay? Okay? Just got Journey in her car seat and she is thinking of a master plan. Ain't that right, pretty girl? Okay, let's get you home. Let's get you home. You guys, Journey has literally been in this mama room for maybe a minute and I can already tell right now that this thing is going to be a game changer. Like, I promise you, I promise you, she was just screaming to the top of her lungs. She wanted me to still hold her after um, we were done with her bottle. However, I have to pump, I have to clean up a little bit. Um, all the hospital stuff that I got is like three huge bags of stuff, so I need to organize it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can I cannot hold her. So I brought the mama roo up here, and you guys, I have it on the car ride setting, and it is going great. Let me see. I have not played around with this at all. Oh, okay. So this just moves it to another thing. 
Okay, so now it's on the kangaroo setting. She actually was quiet as a mouse during the entire car ride. And I was really calm, cool, and collected. I'm, I mean, I will admit I did turn down my music twice to make sure I heard her. Obviously, she can't respond if I say journey. But I did hear her back there. And I just knew to trust God. Everything was going to be okay. Y'all, my freaking friends probably think I'm so freaking silly. I had called Rebecca like an hour and a half ago. And she's just now calling me back. But babe literally just came home. Well, he came home like maybe 30 minutes ago. But he came home so i'm like oh i gotta call you right back i gotta prank um jeremy he doesn't know journey's home and i'm trying to point the journey she's like what what's going on over there but i had to hurry to hang up y'all because babe is home so like i said he got here 30 minutes ago what had happened was journey and jeremy almost run the freaking prank journey's feeding time had came as soon as babe got home i didn't even have no idea because like i said i've been trying to play it cool calm and collected regular conversations you know we just talking like everything's normal obviously things are not normal because half of our heartbeat is here journey is here and jaya bear the other half of our heartbeat is still at the hospital but you know she's still with us but anyways you guys so yes journey um was crying and literally i had got her to stop crying as soon as babe like he walked through the house like maybe 30 seconds later and i'm like oh my gosh what if he would freaking walk through and she would have been up here crying but yeah so um he i heard him coming up the stairs because the doors were open i was just like i had to hurry up literally put journey down and step out so i was like oh babe um can you i had to think real quick on my feet i was like babe can you go down in the basement and um turn on the tv and get the heat um you know, because y'all know I like to be real warm, warm, warm. So I was like, and get the heat turned up. I'm about to come down there and let's cuddle on whatever, whatever. So he turned right back around. You know, I blew kisses and all that other cute stuff. So he can go back downstairs and focus on that. So I was able to get him distracted. But within that 30 minutes, I was really up here feeding our beautiful baby girl and getting her to be calm. So she went cross. So now she's back in her mama room after feeding. So there's no reflux or anything going on. But now it's time to text babe. Uh, mind you, like I said, I have a lot of millions and millions of things going on. And one of those things is I'm supposed to be pumping right now um yeah and so if y'all see some leaking going on just know your girl is she, she, she a whole mom out here so i got i got stuff i gotta do i had to set up my my um bottle t um area for the nighttime and yes i do fortify the milk well i don't but the hospital you know they fortified it so i have to follow the same thing so um it's just like a few teaspoons i gotta add inside the milk and all the other good stuff i set up the diapers she's already went through two because i've done two changes i'm about to put some more out here then we got this and there's a whole bunch of stuff i'll show y'all that tomorrow but the moment y'all have probably been waiting for so i'm pretty sure baby's not gonna come in here i'm not even like hiding the camera like for real for real for real because I'm looking around the room like there's nowhere to really hide and if I put it over there he's gonna see it so I'm gonna just keep it over here because my thinking is baby's gonna come through and see his daughter sitting right there and then we'll be able to see his reaction so by the time he actually looks over here and sees the camera if he does see the camera then we would already call his actual reaction because the only thing we really need to get is actual reaction so i guess babe got distracted from me being down there um i mean for him being down there waiting for me to get down there for cuddle time he didn't i hear the music playing so he probably was like let me just turn my music on so i'm about to text him no actually i'm about to call him because i don't got the time i can't be out here waiting all day and all night he might not even see my tech babe you know he when he getting his vibes and stuff he don't see stuff so let me let me just call him and be like oh babe can you um babe you doing your music huh yeah just come up here real quick all right we are gonna prank bay a we are gonna prank bay a we are gonna prank bay a and it's a really cool day so I'm so excited. I'm leaking like crazy. Journey's just over here looking so cute. I was going to try to hide her and do all this other type of stuff. But y'all, well, let me. she been here. Why you tell me she wasn't coming home? Because she wasn't coming home at first. Hey, <sighs> baby. I just fed her.
Let me get your sister here. I know. I feel like she's been like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you shocked to see yeah, me outside of the no, hospital? Oh my goodness. <laughs> see, where are you, bro? I've been planning this bro, all that, day, bro. day. I've been planning this all day. Oh man. The camera all out here obvious as crap. I've been planning this all day. For you to be surprised and see her. I don't want to wake her up at Yeah, let's what not. What time her next meeting again? Um, at 1. At 1. She'll never sleep. She so like her little, her little, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, Mama Roo. Yeah, don't talk too loud as that. She's she already moving. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This, I'm talking about thank you, but thank you for bringing her home. But this is, oh my goodness. Do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, you got big. No. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, now. What? <laughs> no. Hey guys, so I think that the prank was a success, but I don't even really want to call it a prank. I want to call it more so like surprise babe, our daughter is home. So yeah, I think that was a success. Babe was so surprised, but y'all know how men are. They are just so, I would think that, let's vote. I think that men are way more frantic when it comes to babies and infants and stuff like that than women are, like for real, for real, because literally, like even from hospital um, visits and stuff like that and being parents there to even come here, like the first thing he's like, baby, be quiet, remember when we were at the hospital, oh, babe, this, oh, you know, like, I feel like men are just like, I don't know, I think it's, it's, it's the cutest thing though. I honestly really do think it's the cutest thing. And a lot of the nurses were coming by for discharge and they were like, wait until you get home and you have to see how your boyfriend acts because they was like, my husband did not change diapers. My husband didn't want to do feedings. My husband, and not like they didn't want to be present in the baby's life, but it's just like the men are so scared and they're so terrified. But yes, so journey, let's say goodbye, pretty girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. Finishing all her feeding and we're gonna call and check on Sissy. Yes, girl. So yeah, I'm happy. Journey is beautiful as ever. And I'm about to go ahead and end this vlog so I can edit and get me some sleep because y'all already know what time it is and how little sleep I'm about to be getting since both my girls are home. But actually, that's a good thing. I'm happy because, you know, it's just a great sacrifice, a great temporary sacrifice. I'm gonna advocate for my girl to come home because like a lot of like even the feeding specialist was like yeah she agreed like they're both doing the exact same things when they eat and they're both doing great so they didn't really quite understand why Jaya Bear um they didn't feel like Jaya Bear should be able to come